How's it going? Welcome back to Killer Gang Place. Level 24, King Arthur Project, Avalon. This will be the last level, end of game before the bonus levels. We're going to shoot the base on this cherub statue and knock it to the ground. We have to find two cherubs and place them to raise pillars so we can get up higher. We'll go ahead and place the one we got. Uh, raise that pillar. The other one's over here. Uh, it's in the tree, so we gotta push this pillar over. Here it is. Pretty cool background around this area. That floating castles in the sky. Let's see where this one goes. Uh, it goes over here in the corner. So we're all set to work our way up this, these huge pillars. When we get up there, we got a couple of boss fights. Well, actually three. We'll have a a big knight that we need to fight. Then we'll have a little gremlin, fire gremlin we have to fight. And then uh, an angel to open a portal back to the castle heart. Pretty cool level. We've uh, worked our way through all these levels to get here, and it's been quite the adventure. Probably 10 hours of gameplay. Ha! <laughs> 
but the uh, bonus levels coming up we've got two small bonus levels and then uh, bonus gameplay which is castle levels so there'll be three more levels after this but they're all bonus so I'm not really counting that as part of the game it's this is officially the last level there were 80 secrets we got them all so GG on that Feel free to go back and uh, check out any of the levels. There's any and everything you want to know about this game has been covered and in its entirety. So first we'll start with the giant knight here. Use Excalibur. It's like a shotgun. You have to watch out for flames. Stay clear of the flames. Just keep chipping away at his health and get save points along the way. some pillars will appear so we can go up even higher and there's the angel the wicked angel so here here comes the fire gremlin and uh, just want to watch out for he leaves fire trails in your way halfway down on his health um, some pillars will appear here we go now we can we need to get up quickly there'll be fire appear on the ground and what we're going to do is go to the top of these pillars shoot the wicked angel and then we have like a, it'll be like 
a timed event to get back down off these pillars back down to the ground. And then we'll have to do battle with the with it. To open a portal and get out of this area. So what I do is stay close to this edge right here. So all we got to do is turn around, get a save point, get out Excalibur and look up at the angel, shoot, and then quickly turn and start getting down because these pillars will disappear. Do a half tile here. There we go, cool. All right, now let's get down and uh, get another save point here. Just jump around, and you do have to watch out for fire. Fireballs on the ground. Say points along the way. open that portal so we do have a life potion over here and you probably have to take med kits during that fight I had to take a few small med kits and we need to find where the water is down below I believe it's to the southwest but uh, we'll just get a visual on where it's at let's see I believe it's right over here. Yep. So we'll just hang from this edge and drop to the water below. Nice. Now we need to find the portal. Uh, let me get my bearings where I'm at here. It was... Uh, at the beginning of the level where we came in. So it'll be over this way. Here we go. And we'll get transported back to the Castle Heart. Merlin's going to be straight across there. You can see him. Hey, come here. Let's break out the binoculars and get a visual on him, where he's at. So, we need to take Excalibur over there and put the sword in the rock. The castle's falling apart. I just get over here and drop down. Then we can hop forward here. Uh, 
press action and slide into this opening. It's the quickest way to get there. Get a word from Merlin. Quick, put the sword into this rock. This will release the magic barrier around the castle and you'll be able to escape. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'm just a projection of the past, as the whole castle is. You shouldn't be here either. This was just an illusion made by Morgana, who thought she'd be able to enter your present through it. But your magic was too powerful for her. You'll be a great magician in our time. Thank you. No time to chat. Alright, so we'll place Excalibur and get the heck out of Dodge. Escape quickly before everything within the castle disappears. The magic barrier. The quickest way to get out of here is to jump back to this red pillar and just go straight this way. And we're going to hang close to the left wall. And we go through here. <laughs> Same thing over here. We'll head. Keep close to the left wall and head to the ending. So there we go. There's a King Arthur project, all 24 levels completed. I'm going to let this next part play into the bonus, first bonus level. We'll uh, get a cutscene of Laura talking to Cindy about the Island of Topaz map. And we can see the castle explode. Mission accomplished. And head to the cutscene. This is a map I found in the castle. Interesting. I wonder what is there. Will you go with me? I need someone to follow my moves as I've no idea where this will take me. Of course. So exciting this map links back to the Topaz Island. So Twin Crystals were sort of a magic power that would allow Morgana to come into our time. I still don't understand everything. But yes, something like that. Merlin didn't want to say much. I had a feeling he just wanted to get out of there. He was present all the time as a keeper of the castle, but at the end, I was able to bring him to life with summon. He hid in one of the towers of the castle. Of course, we'll never know what would have happened if I hadn't defeated Morgana. I never doubted in you. So, let's go to this coast on the map. I know where this is. So we'll pick it up. We got the three bonus levels and then we're done with the game. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon on the next one. Have a great day. Take it easy.